What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, and maybe we can make it past this cutscene eventually. <laughs> Welcome back to more Fate Extra Triple C. So, last time, BB managed to not only infiltrate the school building, and by infiltrate I mean we heard her all around, she hijacked all of her vision and sound, and basically set up the rules for her little game. And it's also denoted that in her sentry system, the next one to take the core will be Ronnie 8. So we're gonna have to fight Ronnie on the next three floors because apparently a girl's heart can only repaint three floors at a time so that said we also saw who stayed with us and who didn't Shenji and Jinniko obviously left because one's a lazy bitch the other one's an asshole I'll let you decide which is which <laughs> uh, Ren went off to go take a nap because she's physically and ex mentally exhausted and Kiara won't be joining us because she made a pact with BB to not get in her way and, you know, stay safe. That said, she can still provide us assistance due to some kind of foundation and people logic or something. Anyway, so, Miss Tosaka has a firm and strong constitution. We should leave her be and let her heal on her own. Oh. Now, Sakura, a question, or rather, I'd like your opinion on something. Do you think BB uses Sentinels because she's the same type of the AI you are? Yes, no matter how much she augments her memory, even if she is able to hack the system, she's a managerial AI. She has no combat functions. All BB can do is alter the system and create Sentinels, I think. So she can't fight for herself. I see. That's why she use, utilizes pawns. Sentinels. Halt, mutant. I just want a giant, like, X-Men Sentinels to be show up in the labyrinth next turn. Halt, mutant. Okay. It, it, enough turn to make a series. Anyways. Very good to know. I was hoping to hear that. Now, Vala, why don't you take a short break? You must be tired. You should rest. After that, a general affairs officer. Oh. No. It's a message from outside. It's Gauto. Leo, turn on the transmission. Leo Kaito! Jesus! President Leo! President! Beautiful in your slight rem resemblance to my lovely god, Leo! Brother, turn off the transmission. We've done quite enough talking. Let's all go eat. I understand the feeling, but wait. This transmission is coming from the labyrinth. It's not a trivial matter. <laughs> oh, ouch, ouch! Those glasses! Those cold glasses deny the whole being of an unpopular man, destroying 40-somethings! It's hard to understand, is that it? Well then, to be specific, I mean pursued by a dangerous cutthroat. See, that was a lot easier. <laughs> I beg you as if you were a god. Please come save your lost believer post haste. God save me! His words are nonsensical, but Gato has conveyed his desperation if nothing else. If the source of the transmission is the Sakura Labyrinth, could Gato be... You an idiot, old man? Why'd you go into the labyrinth by yourself? Oh, it's red. Very red. A fluttering red girl. And a fluttering girl with glasses attacked me. I'm scared to wonder who that red girl is. On the seventh day, they will come to sterilize all despite men. What? Findesickle. He broke that apart, I don't know why. Oh, truly covetous garbage! More words I don't understand. That sort of thing, they said, but I've shaken them off. So where am I? Where are the stairs back? Huh? Have I been trapped? Oh! Mass! Recruiting! Lifeguards! My deepest apologies, Vala. I must ask you to go into the labyrinth once more before your break. You must ascertain Mr. Gato's safety. 
nothing else for it. I just got tired of this item farming, so I'll monitor with you. <laughs> Things have gotten serious. Even if Gato doesn't seem like he'd actually die if someone killed him, the Sakura Labyrinth is no place for joking around. I want to take a moment and explain that. For anyone who's watched the, uh, the Japanese, like with English subs of Fate Extra, they no doubt recognize the phrase, uh, they would recognize the phrase, people die when they are killed. Now this isn't bad grammar, this is actually a turn of phrase used common in Japan. It basically means that even if people were pushed to the point of death, they wouldn't actually die. They would will themselves to continue living. So the phrase, uh, so the phrase, it doesn't seem like he'd actually die if someone killed him, makes much more sense in that way. It's just a cultural thing. So yeah. Also, it's been used a shit ton of times in other anime and other stuff like that, so... Japanese turn of phrase. Just thought I'd... Just thought I'd, like, bring attention to that, because not a lot of people know that. I haven't had time to catch my breath, but I have to go help him. Fucking old man. Uh. Also, I forget if this is the time I can do this. Uh. Hi. I don't know what you're talking about. But it sounds lovely. Oh, you're talking about BB now. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Tyrannical Uber. Uh, actually, did I? I don't remember. I keep scrolling for a bit. There's actually something I can do here, but I don't want to do it ahead of time because I don't know if I have translation for it. Oh god. Talk it that that's to be fun. Alright, so Alright. Going. Floor. Stuff. 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 Stuff, 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 stuff. Okay, I'm gonna assume no. Oops, went too far. Alright, so. Oh, right. Um, in text, that's the problem. Alright. So, if we actually keep talking to this girl, I don't think there's a translation for this. She actually says bad shit about BB. BB takes massive offense to this. She begs for her life, basically. Bibi just says she was talking shit about her. Bibi outright deletes this NPC. And then I think gave us a warning. So yeah! That's a thing. <laughs> uh... Oh, whoops, there we go. I need to go back up. I'm trying to quickly scan through my translation. Here we go! Alright. Uh, I think we can actually go hang out with Gilgamesh and get some dialogue out of him. Let's go find out if we can. Sup, Gilgamesh, you enjoying your fancy drinks? What we get? Oh yeah, we now have a gallery where we can view like this stuff. Yep. Panish. Someone doesn't know how to spell. All right, let's talk with Gil. All right, good. He's, we're in the right conversation. I was listening for a second just to make sure it was right. So, the Sentinel this time is called Ronnie. After Rin Tosaka comes yet another of your acquaintances. Is this a coincidence? A coincidence? I think I'd say it was inevitable. Ronnie is a superior wizard. 
BV, B, BV, yes, BV. BB even said that Ren and Ronnie were the only two masters she could use as cores for the labyrinth. Don't be absurd. I'm not speaking of the making of the labyrinth, but the making of effective enemies. Well, let it be. Use that doll however however you wish. Boil her, roast her, save her if that's what you want. Mm, roast homunculus. I wonder how that would taste. Well, that's surprising. Gilgamesh said, save her. I was sure my cold-hearted servant would order me to kill her without mercy. So I would do with my own enemies. I gouge and stab them down to a single slice of flesh and utterly destroy them. But that one I have no quarrel with. And furthermore, she is a rare specimen. That's worthy of note. If she commits no acts of disrespect, she may be valuable. From now on, it will be necessary to inspect the spoils of war, I suppose. You're the one she's after. You may kill each other to your heart's content. content. I care not which of you wins, or perhaps it would be best for you to fall together. Thanks, Gilgamesh. Thanks for the pep talk. Glad you are depressing. All right, there is one other thing we can now do that we are since we're here, and that's hey guys, remember what the most fun thing about Fate Extra was? How about the fetch quest? That's right, Taiga, the real Taiga Fujimura, is actually here now. Um, I don't have a solid translation for her, unfortunately, but the translator does basically summarize what she's saying so she's around on the first floor of the school she's confused about how she got here and wants to find a way out she plans on she plans on doing this by assigning me fetch quests in the labyrinth as was her role in fate extra so she's going to give us a bunch of stuff to find for some reason I don't know. apparently the first thing she wants is a ladder Tell me what floor it's on. Uh, cool, now I can't read that to figure out what floor it's on. <laughs> Alright. Um, but I've got a guide I can check for where all of the uh, items are. Anyway, she wants a ladder, which is on one of the floors that we'll be adventuring in. One of the ones we can't get access to just yet. But, uh, yeah, that's a thing. So, let's go ahead and start our in-depth look at the, uh, at the first floor. Or the fourth floor in this case. There we go. Dungeon level 10. I am lucky. Or, I am luckily level 11, I believe. Here we go. Level 4. Honey tight dress code. We're deep under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Baby's gonna murder me. Yeah, we're deep under the sea. It's an indistinct memory, but I feel like the ambiance of this lair is close to that of the Grail Wars arena on the near side. But there's one large difference from the arena. I can hear singing echoing through the labyrinth like ripples in the water. The voice is so lovely. I feel like if I close my eyes and listen closely, feelings would become clear to me. But, is this the Red Lancer's voice? Oh? Ah, a good strong voice. That Lancer, vulgar though she may be, as a dragon child she has lungs and throat like the... Uh, throat the likes of which humans cannot reach. Performing such broad ranging musical scales at will, she's not bad as a singer. I may have to revise my estimation of her value. Anyway, this is the labyrinth controlled by Bibi and her cohort. I'm in. I'm. I'm interested. The new sentinel. 
I'm interested about the new Sentinel, but after the SOS, I'm also concerned about Gauto's safety. Let's focus, I signaled to Gal Gil Galgamesh! Galgamesh, the greatest warrior! Galgamesh! Galgamesh with my eyes, and my terminal rings its alert. Do I just carry this thing in my pocket? How big is this terminal? Can you hear me, Miss Izanagi? This is the student council room. Monitoring, scanning, both maintaining normal levels. As the layers get further down, our memory usage increases, but it's not a problem yet. We can provide backup. Good work, Sakura. It may be hard on you, but please maintain the council room's sub-engine sub at all times. Vala, as Mr. Gauto's rescue signal has been cut off, please try to go as far as you can. As we're in a new layer, stay alert during battle. If you find yourself in danger, return to the stairs. <laughs> no need to panic about old Gauto. I'm getting life signals from him. That guy's not the sort to die if he gets killed. Again, for that. Alright. <laughs> Oh my god. Hold on. Let me see if I can walk slow enough to do that again. <laughs> okay. But uh, something I want to make note, we're actually leaving bubbles behind when we walk. That's kind of cool. Also, Gilgamesh freaking the fuck out was kind of funny. But, uh, that's actually gonna be it for now, because... Yeah. I don't know how much text we're gonna get into. Oh my god, a lot of text. Or is it? Yeah. I can see Ronnie from here. That's probably not good, so we're gonna end things off here. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta. <laughs>Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Fate Extra Triple C. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back into the labyrinth. Fight our way to the other side with the egotistical Gilgamesh at my side. And crush all those who would stand in my way. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta!